All right, starting today off right. This river cooter came shooting out in front of me. I don't think it knew I was coming. And uh, I kind of came around the bend and caught her by surprise, but perfect example of a female Eastern river cooter. I mean, pretty much flawless. I mean, it, it, it's cool when you get to see like a really perfect intact example of one of these guys. So just gonna let her go. There she goes. <laughs> All right, next turtle is this really intricately patterned old male loggerhead musk turtle. Uh, this guy was actually on the bottom. He almost got away. That's why I wasn't able to get the in situ with him, but um, really good looking male. I think I've seen this guy a few times before. Uh, his shell's just actually really clean this year. Normally he's a bit more stained. Um, got some neat little serrations on the back. I do remember that. And just a, just a nice looking noggin on this guy. So I'm gonna let him go. And we'll watch him kind of disappear back into the creek. Gonna go find some nearby covers. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here's a loggerhead musk in situ. This guy's just sitting in that little spot of sunlight. He's not a clam. He's got like a long tail. Look at that. What does he think he is? A snapper? Got some super destroyed marginals. Let's take a look at that. That is interesting. Oh. So what did that? Is that from other male loggerheads? Very, could, very well could be. Oh, you're a tough guy. Look at you. So tough. I'm super intimidated, bro. All right, I'm gonna let you go. See you later, Holmes. Another loggerhead musk. These guys are really out today. This one looks like a female. Come here. Oh, don't run into that too hard. Yep, female. Short tail. Good looking gal. Put her back where she belongs. See ya. All right, here we go. Little loggerhead. He's poking around next to this rock. What's up, buddy? Let's take a look at this guy. So this is about a one-year-old loggerhead. Whoa, I'm way zoomed in. I'm so sorry. All right, so this is about a one-year-old loggerhead. Uh, got a really nice pattern on the carapace. I really like that. It almost reminds me of like a reverse box turtle. Uh, but that's about what they look like at about a year, year and a half. So, good looking turtle. I'm gonna let him kind of. There you go, buddy. And then go under his rock. So, once again, I'm kind of looking for hatchlings. Uh, it's about that time of year. I should be seeing some hatchlings, but I think we went from tons of rain to uh, right now we're in a stretch of no rain and the water is really low, which makes it clear, but it's still really low. Uh, so, I'm really hoping that, you know, I might have a chance at some hatchling cooters, soft shells, musks, those kind of things. So, uh, really hoping to see you know, some of the next generation of all the turtles that you see in my videos. So we're gonna keep my eyes peeled and keep looking. There's another one. Just gonna leave him there. Woo, got some kind of turtle feeding right here. That appears to be a like a cooter. See if we can get on it. Get close enough to get a grab going. Oh, there's some more. There's some more here. Let's see some white stuff. Let's see. There you go. Got a cooter grazing on the bottom. It's got a big leech on the front. Let's see if we can get that off. Hey, that was disgusting. That leech was covered in baby leeches, but we got the big one off. I usually don't remove them because they don't really hurt the turtles that much, but um, I figured I would take it off just to uh, make everybody happy in the comments. So let's let this one go. All right, so now I'm at a new spot and I like to check all these like, a lot of times these rocks with the vegetation growing on them are great places to look for small turtles. Um, they can hide in there, they can feed on stuff inside there, so uh, really good micro habitat and cool looking. All right, so over here, I can see some cooters feeding over there. I'm gonna see if I can sneak up behind them. Try and move as calm and, uh oh, one of them just spotted me. I don't think the other one sees me yet, so we're gonna see if we can get close. Can we get close? Try and move. There we go. Just 
still doesn't see me. Gotcha. There we go. Whee! Another pretty dark. Oh, there goes one under that log over there. Nice. So I have lots of cooters here. This is a hot spot because these rocks are just covered in vegetation. These guys just love to graze on that. So we're going to put this guy back. Okay, got a loggerhead over here. Let's see. It's a little guy. Hey, there he is. Just a little juvie. Not bad looking at all. But uh, right here in this clear rocky water. Gonna let it go back where I found it. See you later, buddy. All right, so today I'm out. Uh, I'm kind of hitting some trails. Yeah, the water's gonna be way too muddy. It's been raining like on nonstop. Uh, so I'm gonna hit some trails, walk around, see if I can see some snakes, lizards, box turtles, stuff like that. So we'll see if we get lucky. It's a nice day. Sun's out and it's a little bit of a breeze. Feels like fall. Won't in about a week, but it does right now. So we'll see what we get. All right, starting to get a little bit warm, and this is just one piece, so might not be too good. Yeah, there's nothing under there. Let's try the next one. This one's had a little more shade. Let's try this guy. Oh, nice, healthy fun guy. Okay. These are next to some logs, so sometimes that's good. Let's see if we get anything. Nothing again. So that is how that went. All right, time to check some others. All right, we got a long one. Carefully grab the right spot. And nothing. All right. All right, so we got another one over here. These are nice thick pieces. So we'll see. Let's do this. And I don't see anything other than ants. Hello guys. All right, go down the hill. Check the sky. And more of nothing. I'm starting to wonder if somebody's already flipped these. All right, so I'm gonna walk this kind of sunny edge here. I feel like a lot of stuff's gonna be moving out into dry sun after all of the rain, so I wanted to try this open area. It's really, really good. All right, got one that's still in the shade. I won't give this a shot. King snake. Look at that king snake. <laughs> that is awesome. Come here, buddy. Oh, you're pretty. You're a pretty little king. All right. So this guy is exactly what I came here to see. Eastern king snake. Such a pretty snake. So simple too. Just the black with the yellow chains is just such a, such an attractive snake. Now these guys are called king snakes because they eat other snakes. And what's unique about them is, you know, they're immune to our native pit vipers. And so as adults, these guys would happily munch on a copperhead or a small timber rattlesnake. Um, if they come into contact with cotton mouse, they would probably do the same with them as well. Uh, you seem to have like a stuck eye shed. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. It's got like a stuck eye cap on one side. On his right side. His left looks good. Man, that is a pretty king. A lot of times over in this part of um, Georgia, we, you start to get into West Georgia, you start to see a little bit of influence from the Black King, but um, looking at this guy, the chains are still thick enough that I would still consider this to be a pure Eastern. Just a beautiful snake. And this one's probably about a year old. Um, guys hatch out much smaller than this and you know in about a year of 
eating little skinks and lizards and other snakes. You know, these guys get to be about this size and hopefully in time, this snake may get to be, you know, for this area, a large Eastern would be about probably four feet. So really, really cool snake, really, really pretty. Exactly what I came out here to see. I was, didn't even think I was gonna find one because I flipped a lot of stuff and saw nothing until I found this guy. So I'm gonna get some pictures of him and then we'll check back in again. So these are typically, typically gonna be very calm snakes. Um, initially, they sometimes will tail rattle and musk. Um, sometimes they'll turn around and give you a quick chew, but uh, for the most part, they don't even really bite or, or do anything that defensive. Um, they mostly just wanna try and get away and carry on with king snake things to do. But you can see, you know, that, that chain pattern, what that does is when these guys are moving across, let's, let's go here to some leaf litter, that really helps break up their outline, especially as they start to go through the leaf litter. It really helps them disappear as they move through the, through the leaves. This guy is just absolutely gorgeous. You can see that awesome looking Eastern King Snake face. Poor little guy with that eye cap stuck on there. I love these guys. Such awesome snakes. Now here in Georgia, all our native non-venomous snakes are protected. So you're not allowed to kill them or keep them or, or harass them. Um, I'm just filming this guy so I can share it with you and we're just gonna let him go. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and let him go, Oop, here we go, back under his, um, <laughs> right there, back under his piece of tin. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to see this guy in the coming years and be able to, you know, hopefully be able to see him and maybe document him again. I didn't bring my camera, but you know, sometimes you can kind of match up the pattern on the head and the scales and be able to know that you have in fact caught the same snake before. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Uh, now the rest of the day is just this cake after this. I'm stoked. Heck yeah. All right, so, so far one king snake is pretty good. Um, I wasn't really expecting to get a lot today, so it kind of went about like I thought. Uh, my main goal was to see a king snake, maybe a timber rattlesnake, but you know, one out of two isn't bad. Still have a couple areas I haven't checked yet. So I'm gonna check those on the way back to the car and maybe drive over to some different areas. So we'll see what we get. All right, guys, so that is it for today's Field Herp Friday. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, it's been really difficult these last uh, two or three weeks just because it's been raining all the time. Um, and then it's also the busy time of year for work. Uh, so I'm trying to get in there and get as much done as I can. And I uh, appreciate you guys uh, taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Uh, please leave a comment below. Tell me about uh, any experiences you've had lately herping and finding anything. And I hope everybody's doing well. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care. Peace.